let's put some text behind an object. And in this case, we're going to have it sort of fade in over her and then fade back down. You don't have to do that part, but that's uh, what we're going to set up here. So let's go ahead and start fresh. I'm just going to get rid of everything right here and then grab my clip, throw it in here on video track one. Now, the way we're going to do it in this video is sort of the easy method by using the color page. Okay. You can also do it in the fusion page that gets a little bit more advanced. Let's just keep it easy for right now. Okay. We're not going to do much of, you know, tracking and uh, keyframing or anything like that. As you can see, she barely moves, uh, barely moves here at all. So the first thing we need to do is create a copy of our clip. Easiest way to do that is hold down alt and then just drag that clip up. Now you want to drag that clip up to video track three because you want a space in between. Uh, for our text. So this is going to be our back plate. And we'll have our text, which will actually be over top of her face. And then our mask over here is going to allow her face or her body to actually show through, uh, you know, and, and keep the text behind it. So essentially with this top layer, we'll be removing the background. Essentially that's what we're uh, going to do. Let's head over to the effects library titles, grab the simple text tool. You can use text plus if you prefer, but let's just keep it simple for this here. We'll stretch it out. Okay, and we can't see the text. Let's go ahead and turn off this top layer for now. And we can, uh, you can actually do this part later if you want, but we'll do it right now. Uh, let's just say beauty, whatever you want to say. And we'll change the uh, font to something else here. That looks pretty good. Size it up for now. We're going to mess with this here later. Okay, come back to our top clip. I'll turn it back on, select it. Let's head over to color and let's start masking her out. So I'm just zooming in here by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Press down to uh, you know, get a different position. Head over here to your power windows, just click that icon. And what we want is this sort of pin looking tool. Select that. All right, now we're gonna trace around our subject here, okay? Now technically we don't have to trace her entire body, but we're going to uh, uh, do that. So if you've ever used Photoshop or Affinity, photo, you probably know how to do this. So just click and then click again, click again as you go around her like this here. Now we might not be perfect right here. We can always adjust things later on. Just keep going down here. Don't worry too much about her hair there. We're going to soften things up uh, at the end. About there and then around her shoulder. Now you can also click and then hold and then drag if you want sort of a curve. Okay. Curve it up around there if you need uh, to do that. All right. But just clicking here, adding these points and tracing around her. Then we're at the bottom of our clip. So just click down here and press down on the mouse wheel to scroll over here. Click here. Okay. And then just trace up the other side. In this case, now again, because she's not moving, we don't really have to do any tracking or anything like that for this clip. You can do all of that stuff, uh, you know, a bit more advanced, possibly a bit easier in Fusion. But again, we're going to keep this simple and we'll do something more advanced uh, later on. Just clicking around here, creating our mask. Up there, there. A little bit of a curvature on that one. I can fix that later on. Okay, okay. And once you get all the way around, you're going to see the icon change to a circle, just like you do in Photoshop or Affinity, right? So make sure you get that circle to close that mask. All right. Now, down here is a bit of a problem, right? Let me just move that point out. All right. So we're pretty good there. Now we don't really see the text yet, right? Don't really see anything at all. So what we need to do now is create an alpha. Even if I come back here, right? We don't see through it. That's because we don't have an alpha. So back to color, right click over here, add alpha output. You see that node right there. Take this node right here, the blue one, and just connect it as such. And bada bing, just that easy. We see that text behind her now. Now, if it looks like this for you, which you might want to do, uh, just come down here and flip this around. Okay. So that's 
how you want it to look in this case because of the way we closed our mask. If we close our mask the other way, you could always you know, flip it around if you need to. So just you know, be cognizant of that. Head back to the edit page and let's just take a look how it looks. P full screen looks pretty good on this frame, but if we play through here, it still looks, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and click our text layer now and uh, maybe we'll change the color like we did for the intro. Maybe put it on like a pink, something like that. Yeah, that works. And let's turn off that layer for now just so we see the text. Maybe put a drop shadow on it just a bit. And we could do a stroke on that as well. Change the color to white. Okay. Just a small stroke on that. Pretty good for what we want right there. Turn that layer back on for the top. Make sure we have the text layer uh, selected. All right, so I'm going to size this way up here because I'm going to animate using the video tab over here. It's a little bit smoother sometimes instead of trying to animate uh, right here. So I want it really big for now, I think. About there, I guess. Back to video over here. I'm gonna take this down because what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide it behind her then have it come out just like we did in the uh, intro. So pull it up maybe there or so. And we'll start it hidden behind her take my playhead all the way to the beginning and lock that keyframe down, lock down any other keyframes uh, that you want to lock down as well. Let's come out to just about, the, we'll just say here and go ahead and zoom up what we want. So we'll just say about there. Now we have our animation. Take a look at that, pull it back here. And there it is. Text behind her looks pretty cool. Hit P. So let's look at this here. So it looks a little unnatural with this harsh cut right here, right? Not a problem, man. Select that layer, color, and we're gonna add some softness to this mask here. So right here, softness, just pull it up and see what happens there. I don't wanna go crazy with it here, just a little bit of softness there. You can also adjust the inside and the outside right here if you uh, need to, but we don't need to do, uh, do that. Just a little bit of softness on that. Back to edit, P. Now it looks a little bit more natural. Okay. So if you need to adjust your mask any, like up here, I might need to adjust it a little bit. You can always head back to color and head in there and just start adjusting your points a bit if you need to. Just get it about right. Again, we're not tracking her. We could actually track this just by coming over to our tracker here. And we could track this mask if we needed to, but I'm not going to uh, do that in this case. All right, so there is a simple text behind her. Disclose my keyframes so you can see them right there, okay? Come up to maybe about here and lock those keyframes down again, and then come down here and we'll have that zoom back out. And what we're gonna do here is have this text come through her face right here and of course disappear back behind her face. So the easiest way to do that is to come up here. Let me actually see my keyframes again. So about there is where it stops and I want it to come through at about there or so. So I'm gonna grab my razor tool, press C because that's what I have my mapped at. Uh, you can always check your, your uh, keyboard customizations right here. If you uh, don't know what things are mapped at, again, C is my blade edit mode for me. It might be something else for you. I'm gonna cut this top layer. Boom, go back to my selection tool and we're gonna cut this part out. And whenever we cut that part out, the text is now in front of her because we have our back plate right here, right? Still showing, right? So now whenever we uh, play back, it's gonna come up and immediately go over her face. We don't want that, we want it to sort of fade. So just grab your handles right here, your fade handle, and just drag this back however much you wanna drag it. We'll just say around 15 frames and it goes back behind her face instantly here because the mask is coming back on, right? So just maybe 15 frames uh, for that too. It's gonna be different depending on your, uh, you know, on your frame rate for your project. But now if you look at it, it's gonna come up, fade through her face and then back down. All right, it's really just that simple for this simple reveal of text behind an object 
in front and then right back behind it again. All right, so just real quick recap, that's color, power window, your pen tool, go ahead and draw your mask around your subject, invert it if you need to, which might actually be kind of cool, but uh, make sure you right click, add your alpha output and connect that. And then whatever you put between those two clips will show through. You, know, you could put anything behind uh, behind her if you uh, you know if you wanted to. I could control Z out of that. I could uh, you know put something someone else behind her. You know if I wanted to uh, uh, do that. All kind of stuff you can do with that. But of course it's not just people. I already have some other things set up over here. So here's a building. So again, we copy that clip, just alt drag, make your copy, have it, you know, have a space between those layers, put in your text tool, any text tool you want, standard text, text plus fusion titles, whatever uh, you want to use. And you can see I have this masked out right there. I didn't even do the entire building because I didn't need to, right? So you, you really just need to mask out the portions that you want to mask out, right click alpha right there connected. Simple, easy peasy to uh, do that. So that's pretty cool uh, too, as you can see. Then just some simple animation to that text using keyframes. Uh, this is the title screen right here. Now, in this case, we're using uh, the uh, text plus a little more customization features that you have with that. And then down here, we have mountains. And on this one, let me just zoom up here a bit. On this one, you can see I just masked out this mountain left this mountain here completely uh, unmasked, as you can see. So that way it looks like this uh, text is coming between uh, both of those mountains. And then some simple animation here uh, to our text, just using some keyframes video, and we're animating that uh, Y value to move it up. As you can see, you can do that in full, uh, full screen here. So we can see that a little better. Simple reveal text, text behind an object here in DaVinci Resolve, the easy method by using the color page.